Central American migrants ride these trains through Mexico on their way to the United States in search of a better life. Migrants like these at a shelter on the outskirts of Mexico City have for years been exposed to extortion and kidnapping at the hands of corrupt Mexican authorities and criminal groups. But now undocumented travelers from countries like Honduras and El Salvador are increasingly being approached to join the ranks of Mexico's drug cartels. Here in Orizaba, the Zetas came out with guns and offered me work. They wanted us to work with them, if you know what I mean. I said no, but others get excited about it. We said no, but others have gone with them. Other migrants in this shelter who didn't wish to be identified told AFP they'd had similar experiences. Many had been offered a salary by criminal gangs to kidnap and extort both their fellow migrants and Mexicans. And sometimes people get recruited because they don't have money. Sometimes the Zetas infiltrate these shelters and others don't have any other choice. They're not going to die of hunger. The Zetas, one of Mexico's most violent criminal gangs, control large swathes of Mexican territory. Non-profits who work with migrants say many moving through Mexico struggle to pay the tax drug gangs charge them to ride these trains. People don't have the money to pay for the journey, so recruitment is becoming another way of paying these groups. In a lot of cases, either you get recruited, or they kill you, or a member of your family. Some, like Samuel from Honduras, manage to resist. But for others like him, saying no to a job in organized crime may not be so easy, especially if the alternative for migrants moving through Mexico is a life living undocumented in the United States, if and when they make it across the border.